Hi everyone, this is Lorraine Anasibi. Today we are going to discuss about Floyd Washel algorithm. So let's have a look on to the introduction part. Floyd Washel algorithm or simply Floyd's algorithm is an algorithm for finding the shortest paths in a directed as well as undirected weighted graph with positive or negative edge weights. It was published in its currently recognized form by Robert Floyd in the year 1962. The floyd washer algorithm compares all possible paths through the graph between each pair of vertices. Now what's the difference between floyd washer algorithm and distrust algorithm? In case of distrust algorithm, we will be only able to find out the shortest path between two particular knots. But in case of floyd washer algorithm, we will be able to find out the shortest path between any pair of vertices. So moving on to the points to note. Develop an n by n distance matrix DK for n vertex network where the diagonal elements are kept empty. The ij the cell is entered the value dij denoting the distance between the vertex i and vertex j if there exists an edge between them. For each dij in dk minus 1, for all ij if dik plus dkj is less than dij then create dk by replacing dij of dk minus 1 with dik plus dkj. For sequence matrix SK, each entry SIJ will be J in the initial stage and if the entries in the distance matrix changes in the succeeding iterations, the corresponding SIJ value will be replaced by K which denotes the iteration. So it will be much clearer by moving on to the example. So this is the example we are going to do. Now in the initial stage, the distance matrix is denoted by D0 and the sequence matrix is denoted by S0. So we can look one by one. The, all the diagonal entries will be kept empty. As you can see, D0 and S0 in both the cases, the diagonal entries are kept empty. Now D12, D12 is given by 5, which is the edge weight between 1 and 2. D13 is 3, because the uh, edge weight between 1 and 3 is 3. D14 is 4 and D15 is infinity. Why? Because there is no edge between 1 and 5. So, if there is no edge between any two nodes, we will keep the entry as infinity. Now, D21 is again 5. Since it is not directed edge, so there is no particular direction. So, we can take D12 and D21 as same itself. And D23 is again infinity. Why? Because there is no edge between 2 and 3. D24 is 1. D25 is infinity because there is no edge between 2 and 5. D31 is 3 because there is an edge between 3 and 1 and the edge weight is given by 3. D32 is again infinity because there is no edge between 3 and 2. D34 is 4 and D35 is infinity. D41 is 6, D42 is 1, D43 is 4, D45 is 10. D51 is infinity, D52 is infinity, D53 is infinity and D54 is 10. Because there is only edge between 5 and uh, 5 is 5 and 4. So the uh, weight will be 10 itself. Moving on to the uh, sequence matrix S0 in the initial stage S0, all the diagonal entries will be kept empty itself. And you can see that all the entries below the uh, column 1, it is 1 itself. And all the entries below 2 is 2 itself. Below 3 is 3, below 4 is 4, and below 5 is 5. So mark accordingly. Now moving on to the first iteration, the pivot row and pivot column will be first row and first column respectively. So we will be fixing our first row and first column from the previous D0, D0 matrix. We will be fixing our first row and first column and all the diagonal entries will be kept empty. Similarly for S1 matrix, all the first row and first row column will be kept uh, as such as that of the S0 and the, all the diagonal entries will be kept empty. Now we will be checking. We need to find the value of D23, right? In the first iteration, we will need the value of D23. How will we find D23? First, we need to check D21 plus D13. D21 plus D13 is 5 plus 3, which is 8. And we should check whether it is less than the previous entry. So, 8 is the entry now. And we should check the previous entry. Previous entry is infinity. So 8 is less than infinity. So we will be replacing infinity by 8. Right? 8. And D24. D24 we should check D21 plus D14. D21 plus D14 is 5 plus 6 which is 11. 
which is not less than 1 see 1 was the entry pre, uh, before in d not cases so it was 1 which is not less so 1 is less than 5 plus 6 so we will not be replacing anything so 1 is get as such and similarly d25 5, 5 plus infinity is infinity infinity is less than it is infinity itself so we will be giving infinity as such now d3 3 2 d3 2 so we will be looking d3 2 how we will get d3 2 d3 1 plus d1 2 so d3 1 plus d1 2 is 3 plus 5 which is 8 8 is less than infinity infinity was the previous entry so we will be replacing infinity by 8 see and d3 4 d3 4 we will look d3 1 plus d14 just 3 plus 6 which is 9 which is not less than 4 so we will be keeping 4 as 4 as such and d35 it is infinity on itself and d42 we will be checking d41 plus d12 d41 plus d12 is 6 plus 5 which is 11 which is not less than 1 so we will be keeping the lesser value which is 1 d43 is d41 plus d14 uh, d13 which is 6 plus 3 which is 9 which is not less than 4 we will be keeping 4 itself and d45 it is how we will be getting d45 d41 plus d15 which is 6 plus infinity which is infinity infinity is not less than 10 so we will be keeping 10 as such similarly for fifth row itself now we will be looking for s1 S1 matrix. See, there is a change for D23 and D32. You right? The value changed to 8 from infinity to 8. You right? So, we will be changing our entry in S matrix as well. So, since it is a first iteration, our entry will be changes to 1. Clear? So, D, uh, sorry, S23 will be 1. Why? Because D23 was 8. It changed to from infinity to 8. So, there was a change occurred. So, we will be changing our S matrix as well. So, our S23 will be 1. And similarly, S32 will be 1. There is no change in any other entries. So, it will be kept as such. Now, moving on to the second iteration, D2. So, in case of second iteration, our pivot row and pivot column will be second row and second column respectively. So, we will be fixing our second row and second column from the previous matrix. Similarly for S, S matrix also. Now we will be checking D13. Okay, D13. How will we be getting D13? First we will look D12 plus D23. Right? D12 plus D23 is 8 plus 5 which is not less than 3. So we will be keeping 3 itself. And we will be checking D14. D14, D12 plus D24. Which is 5 plus 1 which is 6. So we will be keeping 6 itself. Which is less than or equal to 6, so we will be keeping 6 itself. Now D15. D15, how will we get D15? First we will check D12 plus D25, which is 5 plus infinity, which is infinity itself, so we will be keeping infinity as such. Now we will need D31, right? D31, how will we get D31? D32 plus D21. D32 plus D21 is 8 plus 5 which is not less than 3. So, we will be keeping the lesser value 3 as such. And moving on to the D34. D34, how will we get D34? D32 plus D24 which is 8 plus 1 which is 9 which is not less than 4. So, we will be keeping 4 itself. And D35 it is infinity as such. D41. D41, how will we get D41? D42 plus D21 which is 5 plus 1 which is 6 which is less than or equal to 6 so we will be keeping 6 itself D43 it is D41 sorry D42 plus D23 so it will be 1 plus 8 which is 9 9 is not less than 4 so we will be keeping 4 as such similarly for the rest of the entries now we will be going to the sequence matrix as you can see there is no changes for the entries in the distance matrix we will be not having any changes in the sequence matrix as well if there was a change in the any of the entry in the distance matrix in the second iteration, our uh, entry in this corresponding entry in the uh, S matrix will also change to 2. So, since it is a uh, second iteration, our change, change to entry will be 2. 
since there is no changes in this case our sequence matrix will be same as that of the previous one now moving on to d3 uh, third iteration you can see that our third row and third column will be the pivot row and pivot column respectively so we will be fixing our third row and third column and we will be checking other entries so d12 how we will get d12 we will be looking for d13 plus d32 which is 8 plus 3 which is not less than 5 so we will be keeping the lesser value 5 similarly for the rest of the entries we will be looking like that way only now since there is no much there is no any changes in the distance matrix there will be no change in the sequence matrix as well if there was a change in any of the entry the corresponding entry in the s matrix will also change to 3 since it is a third iteration since here there is no changes we, our s3 will be same as that of s2 now we will be looking for fourth iteration our fourth row and fourth column will be the uh, pivot row and pivot column and we will be fixing the fourth row and fourth column and we will be looking for the rest of the entries as you can see that there is a change in d15 d25 d35 d51 d52 d53 right because in the previous case all these values were infinity now we changed right how we can uh, we can look on to that So D15. How we will get D15? We'll be checking D14 plus D45, which is 10 plus 6, which is 16. 16 is definitely less than infinity, so we'll be keeping the lesser value that is 16. And similarly, D25. How we will get D25? D24 plus D45, which is 10 plus 1, which is 11. 11 is definitely less than infinity, so we'll be keeping lesser value that is 11. Similarly, D35. D three four plus D four five, which is ten plus four, which is fourteen. Fourteen is less than infinity, so we'll be keeping the lesser value fourteen. Now we'll be checking for D five one. D five one. How will we get D five one? We should check D five four plus D four one, which is ten plus six, that is sixteen. Sixteen is less than infinity, so we'll be keeping the sixteen. Now D five two. First we check D five four. Plus D four two, which is ten plus one, which is eleven. Eleven is less than infinity, so we'll be keeping eleven. D five four, uh, no sorry, D five three. D five three. How will we get D five three? D five four plus D four three, which is ten plus four, which is fourteen. Fourteen is less than infinity. So this is the changes occurred in fourth iteration. So there will be change in the sequence matrix as well. So we are looking to the S four matrix. Our D, uh, our S one five, S two five, S three five, S five one, S five two, S five three. All these entries changes to four because the change happened in the iteration four. So the value will be changes. So you can see that in the previous case, S three, all these value were five, right? S one five was five, S two five was five. S three five was five, S four five was five. See, S five one was one, S five two was two, S five three was three. But in this case, it is changes to four. See, S one five is four now, S two five is four now, S three five is four, S five one is four, S five two is four, S five three is four. So these are the changes occurred in the fourth iteration. Now moving on to uh, last iteration because since it is a five vertex network. We will be only having five iterations. So, in case of D5, there is no changes occurred because D5 and D4 are similar. As you can see, D4 and D5 are similar. So, there is no changes in the S sequence matrix as well. So, this is the algorithm what we perform now. Now, we can the sequence matrix will give an idea about the path or the route between any two nodes. Okay. So, let's have a look onto the shortest paths. From one to five, see from one to five there is no edge between one and five, so we should go through one another vertex, right? So by looking into the S five matrix, we can see that S one five is four, right? If it was five, it indicates that there is an edge between one and five. But since it is four, it it implies that we should pass through the node four in order to reach five. So first we need to Uh, pass through four, then to five. So it, the shortest route will be one to four, four to five, right? And the end, the shortest distance will be sixteen. See, D one five is sixteen, right? 
so the shortest route shortest distance will be 60 from 1 to 5 so that is mentioned here from 1 to 5 the shortest route is 1 to 4 4 to 5 with the shortest distance 60 you can see in the graph as well 1 to 4 4 to 5 which is 6 plus 10 that is 60 right now from 2 to 3 2 to 3 there was no edge right there is no edge so let us look on to the s5 uh, matrix so s23 is 4 right s23 is 4 which implies that we should pass through 4 then to 3 so the shortest route will be 2 to 4 4 to 3 and the distance will be 5 see the shortest distance is 5 from 2 to 4 from 2 to 4 there is an edge but we can see in the sequence matrix 2 to 4 the end is 4 itself so there is the it is implies that in order to reach 4 we should pass through 4 which implies that there is an edge between 2 and 4 and the entry is 1 which implies that the shortest distance is 1 from 2 to 5 the shortest route is 2 to 4 4 to 5 and the shortest distance is 11 from the graph you can see that 2 to 4 and 4 to 5 it is 10 plus 1 which is 11 correct then from 3 to 2 from 3 to 2 there is no edge so you can see in the sequence matrix s32 is 4 which implies that we should pass through 4 then to 2 so we, we should pass through 3 to 4 4 to 2 in order to reach 2 from 3 so the shortest distance will be 5 from 3 to 5 there is no edge so we should pass through some other node so we can see that 3 to 5 the node is 4 see s35 is 4 which implies that in order to reach 5 we should pass through node 4 see so from 3 to 5 the shortest route is 3 to 4 4 to 5 with the shortest distance 40 now from 4 the vertex node 4 is connected to all other vertices as you can see 4 is adjacent to 1 4 is adjacent to 2 4 is adjacent to 3 and 4 is adjacent to 5 so all these are shortest route so there is an edge between 4 to every other vertices so the edge corresponding edge weight will be considered to be the shortest distance from 5 to 1 the shortest route is 5 to 4 4 to 1 and the distance is 60 from 5 to 2 the shortest route is 5 to 4 4 to 2 and the distance is 11 10 plus 1 which is 11 from 5 to 3 the shortest route is 5 to 4 4 to 3 with the shortest distance 14 from 5 to 4 the shortest route is 5 to 4 which is the edge itself and the shortest distance is the edge weight 10 so the sequence matrix will give the path from uh, between two nodes so if you want if there is no edge between any two nodes it will give the sequence matrix will give that you should pass through some other node then to, to reach in order to reach the uh, corresponding node so you can see that from 1 to 5 there is no edge so it should pass through 4 that's why the s15 is 4 so you should pass through 4 in order to reach 5 so this is all about floyd focus floyd uh, uh, algorithm so that's all thank you